Are you guys ready for this amazing cotton candy shop that I have prepared for you guys today in uh, Bloxburg that I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. Yeah? Okay. another Bloxburg build since you guys loved my first one so much so if you guys like videos like this don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe and press the notification bell for more all right guys today we are here in Bloxburg once again and if you haven't checked out my first ever Bloxburg build on my channel I built myself a house and if you haven't seen it go ahead and check it out but for now I wanted to go ahead and I wanted to do something a little bit more me and um, I also built myself a cotton candy shop in adopt me but I think Bloxburg needs one as well. So we're gonna go ahead and try to do that today. Um, as you can see, I bulldozed my plot. My house is gone, but that is okay. We're gonna go in build mode and we're gonna build ourselves a nice, cute little shop. So, um, of course we need to start with some walls and hmm, might make this one a little bit closer to the road. So we'll do one like this and like this. And hmm, I want this one to have a unique shape as well. Maybe even a patio area right here. Like right here, you can like sit and eat your delicious cotton candy. That would be pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna do that. But for now, we're gonna do this. And then this could be like the little kitchen area. And then we'll make this like the counter. We'll put like a door there that goes into the kitchen. And it needs a bathroom too. So we'll put a bathroom right here, just like that, perfect. Okay, um, and now I kinda have an idea of what to do. I mean, don't get me wrong, I still have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but all of this needs a floor. Perfect, this one has a floor. All right, it's kinda hard to tell with the snow on the ground, but I think we're okay. So let's go ahead and put a beautiful roof on it. And hmm, should I do a different one than I did last time? Which one did I use? I think it was this one. All right, I think this looks uh, good enough, yeah. All right, um, so we have a roof and we have walls already. We're going pretty fast today, but we need to come up with a design. And I think I want this one to be purple. Um, I want this to scream cutie. Should I do polka dots? Is that too much? <laughs> I don't know. Here, let's look at all of the textures. I might just do a basic siding. Maybe some bricks? No. Leather? Um. Uh. Plastic? Smooth plastic. All right, let's just make it out of smooth plastic. Why not? Um, yes, that is the right thing. Material, what is this already set on? Oh, it's just set on plastic. Okay, we'll just do plastic since it's already set and we will just go ahead and change the color of all of this to this pretty violet color. Um, I'm a fan of this. I really, really like this color. Okay, we got the base down and we need something for the roof. <laughs> I think a polka dot roof would be a little bit crazy. Um, <laughs> As much as I want to do it, uh, I don't know. Okay, well, I kind of like that one. Or this one's nice too. This rectangular tile. I kind of like this one. Should I do a different color? Uh, let's do white. And then we've got to do it over here again. And material. All right, perfect. Um, okay, now we need a door. What kind of door do we have to go into our beautiful cotton candy shop? Oh, this one's kind of cool. This commercial door? I don't know. But that one's pretty too! There's so much stuff in this game that I have yet to discover. But I feel like this one looks like uh, like a shop door. So we'll put one there, we'll put one there. And then I want to make like a patio. Is there like rocks? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a stone wall. I guess we could use that for a round like this. That way it's kind of like an entrance kind of thing. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna use it. What is this? A rock climbing wall. That would be cool. And what is this? A rock wall? No. All right. Is there anything in the decoration tab? Like I want like a, like a path, like a rock path. Is there not like stepping stones? Is that what they're called? Uh, stepping stones? Square stepping. Oh, that's really small. Um, rectangular? Sure. Uh, we'll put it like this and then maybe we can grab some of these square ones and then fit them in here randomly. Sure, why not? Um, it just looks so odd to me that all the ground is white because it's covered in snow and there's no like, uh, grass. <laughs> and can I change the color of this? Maybe if I made this a purple as well. Oh yes, I think that looks amazing. We're gonna make this, this other purple. Just so we have a little bit of contrast going on here. Perfect. All right, and I know that there's like a sign kind of thing. Um, see, I don't know how to do that yet. You guys are gonna have to teach me. Well, there's this open side. I guess we'll put it there. <laughs> um, is there any lights? 
cool lights that I can hang out here. Oh, look at these candy cane ones. Those are so cute. Festive string lights. Blinking. Oh, those are quite cool. Uh, we're gonna have to hang those. I mean, I know Christmas is over, but uh, we could still have some pretty lights hanging at our cotton candy shop. I still think that's a great idea. Yes, perfect, just like that. And now we need some windows because it is looking a little bland from the outside. Oh, is that in build? What am I doing wrong? Oh no, Um, window. Yes, perfect. And which one should I use? What is this? Window elevator. Well, that's really, really cool. That's not what I'm looking for. Maybe these circle ones? Oh, I think those are so cute. Okay, we're gonna use these circle ones. Oh, why can't I put one there? The wall is in the way. Um, yikes. Should I move this one over then? It looks so weird having that that close, but I do want to color like the door. Yes, it needs to be purple. Everything needs to be purple. That is the theme of this cotton candy shop, of course. And we'll make these purple as well, just because, I mean, it'll add some more color. We want this to be big and bright and stick out to everyone in the neighborhood. Like, it's so bland up here. It still needs something. Um, should I put a, a window up here as well? I don't think I can. Oh, uh, do they have a smaller one? I guess not. And you know what? Honestly, I don't know if I'm really digging these windows too much now, now that I look at them a little bit more. I thought it'd be cute because they're circular, kind of look like cotton candy, but I don't think I'm gonna keep them actually. So what other ones can we use? Do we just use these basic ones? The, the, there's no like anything special about them. There's these curved ones. I kind of like these curved ones. All right, yes, that looks so much better. <laughs> Okay, I kind of like this so far. Um, looking very, very, very cute. Is there like trees or something that I can make like cotton candy? I have all of these, but these are all locked. No. You know what? That's okay. We're gonna go ahead and let's just get started in the inside. Cause I mean, we do have to color all of this still as well as um, put some more windows around because I don't want just windows on the front of the building. <laughs> all right, there we go. Now I got some more windows. Let in all of the lights. And we need to pick a flooring type. Okay, this is the floor, right? I believe so. <laughs> Put a material and... Hmm, should we make it a nice wooden pattern in here? Maybe like this? I kind of like it, except I don't know if I want this to be purple as well. Oh no, something's wrong. I have two floors going on right now. They're glitching through each other. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, I think it's fixed now. Okay, it should be good. So let's go ahead and go back to the color changing thing. I was like, what is glitching right now? All right, yes, that is so much better. Ew, corroded metal. Too bad you can't change the color of like this, the orange for the corroded metal because that totally could have looked like cotton candy. That would have been really, really cool. This foil kind of looks... Kinda looks cool. Rainbow dots. That is crazy! I like it. We're doing it. <laughs> Rainbow dots it is. Um, where are they at again? Right here, perfect. And now we need the walls. Maybe we'll do the darker purple for the walls. This is gonna look insane in here. Oh my goodness. I think we're just gonna keep these ones purple. We'll just do this, uh, what is this even called? Elder? 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 Uh, <laughs> Ale? L? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, we're just gonna do this one. Why not? Because we have crazy floors. I think if we have crazy floors and crazy walls, it might be a little bit too much. So let's just stay with that. And perfect. And one more wall. Oh, nope. I'm just kidding. We still have the bathroom to do. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. Nope. Nope. Still not good. All right. Now this is looking good. <laughs> Except I want to have like a little like window kind of thing. Um, that looks like an ordering window almost. Maybe like that. Should we move this over one? All right, so now we need a door so I can get back here to actually um, make the cotton candy. We'll just do the door frame. I think that looks cute. And we also need a door for the bathroom. Perfect. And you know what? This is looking so cute so far. Um, I want a little ledge there. I don't know if they could actually do that? Do they have like, okay, there's the shelf. You don't want that. And once like a, like a little thing, the, the shelf kind of thing, you know, like a bar that goes like underneath here, kind of, uh, something like that. If you, if you know what I'm trying to say. Um, this hanging pot thing is so cute. It's a little plant right there. All right, look at this cute little plant we have going on. Adorable, ordinary string. Um, I don't really want that. I guess let's go back into decorate. Maybe it's here? Do they not have like a floating bar kind of thing? Let's look it up. A uh, bar? No. 
Oh, is this a Christmas tree? Look at that. That's so cute. <laughs> um, I don't know what they would call it, but we do need a, a like a light switch or something in here because it is going to get very, very, very dark. We'll put one there. Hmm. All right, I just went ahead and placed these trays because they fit up there. That's kind of the look I was going for. I mean, not exactly. I wanted it to go all the way to the edge, but I think that's actually good enough. So we're just gonna keep that and just roll with it. So now we need to decorate this a little bit more. Maybe some of those lights, like those fairy lights, just like that. And maybe I'll put some over here too because I want to have some seating inside as well, just in case it's like a stormy day and uh, you don't want to be sitting outside. I want there to be lots and lots of options on where you could actually sit and chat with your friends. <laughs> All right, I think this is looking so good so far. Now we just need some seating, but out here and then the bathroom, of course, but let's start on the kitchen first. So let's go ahead and we're gonna grab some counters. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, uh, you didn't see that. <laughs> counters. All right. Oh, look at this. Uh, commercial display case. That is kind of small. Mm, I'll keep that in mind. Maybe we can use that. For right now, we're just gonna go with the shaker counters. I really, really like them. We will change the color of them, of course. Um, why is this like not letting me place this where I wanted to place? There we go. All right, now we got some counters. And like I said, we need to go ahead and change the color. I'm gonna change the top of the counter. And maybe we should do it darker purple? We'll do this lavender. Oh yes, look how pretty that looks. Oops, uh oh, I changed the, the wrong, the wrong color. Um, <laughs> oopsie. Now those aren't the same color. Oh no. Okay, well I guess we're changing the, also the color of the cabinets to industrial white and then the lavender. And I think they look so, so, so cute. So did I, did I change the wrong one again? I don't think so. Uh oh, I'm changing something else. Oh no. <laughs> Cutie's messing up big time right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How many of you guys am I making cringe right now? I'm sure there's a lot of you that are just like, oh my gosh, cutie, no. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we have some counters back here and we still need a fridge though. I mean, no items found. I keep forgetting to go ahead and back out. Maybe this one. I like that you could see stuff inside of it. I think that looks really, really cool. Let's go ahead and keep that one. Hmm. And I kind of want like a like a storage cell over here with a bunch of books. Maybe they're like different cotton candy recipes or something. That would be pretty cool. But we do need a sink still. Um, so let's go to get that first. All right. So now we want some of these post-it notes. I don't know. I guess they have orders on them or something. <laughs> we can pretend, right? <laughs> I feel like we're gonna need some of these just to like plug stuff in, of course. Maybe a blender or something. Hmm. I mean, we have to get a little bit creative here because I don't know exactly what all is in this game yet. I do have a better understanding than the first time, but I don't know exactly what uh, goes into it yet. But these hearts are very, very cute. So we're gonna put some of these hearts around because I love you guys. Oh yes, paper towels, we need paper towels. Uh, so after we wash our hands, before we touch any food, we can dry them right back off. Put a few blenders back here, just in case we need them. We have a few, um, it kind of looks like a smoothie shop almost. <laughs> I promise that's not what it's supposed to be. All right, I placed that stuff, but I want to go back out here to look and see if I could see one of these categories that, you know, they're like, pick me, pick me. And hmm. go to storage. See if we could find that thing I was talking about. Like one of these. I don't know if I'm really a fan of that one though. Doesn't really fit the style I'm looking for. That one's a bit cuter. Let's go ahead and do that one. And I might put some of these out here as well, just in case some customers want to read something, but I feel like I should do a different one. All right, this is what we got going on so far. I need to pick up the pace a little bit. So let's go ahead and we're going to move in to the bathroom. This one should be pretty easy. At least I hope so. Um, of course we need a sink and we'll just use this one. Why not? I mean, this would be a really big bathroom for just a sink and a toilet. But you know what? That's okay. That is a okay. Um, of course, we need a mirror above our sink. And let's do this round one. Perfect. And then we need a toilet. All right. Yes, this definitely could have been a smaller bathroom. Um, <laughs> all right. We'll put a we'll put a changing table in here too, just in case someone has a baby. Because we have all this room. I mean, we might as well use it, right? So go ahead and put a changing table. And look at this chandelier. That is so fancy. And I can't use that, so it's okay. <laughs> This one's beautiful. Oh my gosh, I wish I could have a chandelier in my cotton candy shop. That would be amazing. But unfortunately, I can't. Um, <laughs> it's all right. Of course, we need curtains at least in the bathroom, but oh, 
What is going on with those windows back here? What in the world? Why are they like in the wall? <laughs> I'm just gonna pretend like I don't see that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna add curtains. <laughs> Cause they are so, so, so cute. And I feel like they add a little bit more. Then we're gonna put them outside too. Why not? It's kind of weird to have curtains hanging on the outside of the building, but you know what? We're gonna be different. <laughs> I think it looks adorable. So we're gonna do it anyway. But now we need some booth seating. Do they have like booths? No. Okay. Um, tables. No. Oh, it's because I'm still in the curtains. I keep doing that. No. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Okay, they have like the speaker booths, but that's not the booth I'm looking for. So let's just go ahead and we're just gonna grab a table. And which one should I pick? I don't like any of these. <laughs> Maybe the festive one's the best one to do. I don't really know. Um, sure. Why not? We're gonna go with the festive one. Guys, I ran out of money. What in the world? <laughs> I have no money left. I guess I have to buy more. Um, hopefully $100,000 is enough. I mean, that is a lot of money. Um, it has to be enough to get us through this build at least because, uh... I can't buy any more money. <laughs> so let's go ahead and grab a chair. Hmm, which ones are cool? Is there any cool ones? I mean, I guess these stylish ones are kind of cool, but that doesn't really go with the vibe of the table. Look at this pencil chair. It's so little. It's for a little baby. It's so cute. Guys, cutie is struggling right now. Oh no, I guess we're just going to go with these ones. Um, not really what I was initially going to go for, uh, but things are not turning out as planned today. Uh, you know what? That's okay. Sometimes it happens and it's all right. So now I got a few CD areas right there. And hmm, I kind of want to have an area for the kids. Is there like a kids section somewhere? Oh, baby and kids. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Oh, yes. We could have one of these pencil things right here. Where's the chair? Where's the chair? Right here. <laughs> Look how cute. And then we'll just have a bunch of toys over here. I mean, I would think people would bring their, uh, the child here. All right, perfect. Now we have a little area over here for the children. I just want to put down a few more toys. So they have Plenty of options to choose from. And I think that looks super, super cute. And I feel like it's still so bare in here, but I don't know what else to put. Let's see, let's take a look at it from the outside. I think I, this might be it for today. Maybe we'll have to come back to it. But for now, I think it's, I think it's ready. I think we're, uh, we have the bare minimum to open. Uh oh, can I open the door? <laughs> oh no, the curtains are in the way. Okay, there we go. All right, are you guys ready? for this amazing cotton candy shop that I have prepared for you guys today in uh, Bloxburg that I don't really know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing. Yeah? Okay, so we have this open sign up here and these festive lights, even though Christmas is over, that is okay. Walk in here and boom, there's hearts all over the walls because I love you guys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You have seating areas right here so you can sit and talk with your friends or if you brought your baby, they have plenty of toys to play with, even this cute little bear that they can cuddle up to. And if you need to go to the bathroom, you can come in here. There is a toilet, there is a sink, and there is even a changing table. And then back here is, well, this is the ordering windows. I mean, it's kind of dark in the kitchen. I didn't realize that. Uh, but this is the kitchen. Uh, all of my cotton candy recipes, my secret, secret, secret recipes are on this shelf. And um, this is where I make them. And there's some more recipes up here. And we have a fridge, of course and some sinks to wash up the dishes once I am done. That is our kitchen, and then out here is a little, uh, I guess, outside patio playing area, I guess? Um, it'd be cool to like, build a snowman out here. Can you build a snowman? Make a snowman, make a snowman. Yes, see? We are gonna make a snowman right here. <laughs> this could be our snowman hangout, you know? All right, and our snowman's almost done. Oh, look at him! <laughs> He is our first customer at our brand new cotton candy shop today. So if you guys like videos like this, don't forget to hit the like button. And we will see you guys in the next video.